The biggest obstacle I've had to overcome, I would say it was like three or two, no, two years ago now where I was kind of, it was my birthday and I had like literally a mental breakdown because I was like, I'm getting older. I have all these things I want to do. And I really questioned myself if at the end of the day, emotion aside, if I had what it took to do what I wanted to do, um, to be realistic about my goals and everything like that. Um, so that was kind of just a mental obstacle I had to get over because it was for sure frustrating having done it at a two and three star level and wonder if I could do anything above that um, and be successful at it. And it's long days and it's a lot of work. And so that was, I'd say for sure, my biggest obstacle was to keep believing in myself that even though it wasn't gonna happen right away, to stick with it and make my dreams happen. It's not easy being a young professional with all these dreams and hopes and desires and watching so many Grand Prix and wondering, like, if, I wonder if I had a horse, like, if I could do it. And it happened kind of by chance. I asked um, Casey and Quinton if they had stalls available because I had a few young horses and I didn't know what I wanted to do for the summer after Florida. And it turned into me working for Double H. And they gave me um, originally a horse named Donatella that Quentin had been showing and my first week showing for them I went to Old Salem and I had another horse too, Siska, and I jumped the small Grand Prix like welcome and I was second and fourth and I was like, I can do it. And again, I think it was a lot of luck and everything happens for a reason that I've done throughout the years to get me to where I am now. I think any young junior looking for a professional career would um, kind of think that I've hit the jackpot and I'd say I agree. Um, there, it's, it's a lot of work. We have young horses and um, we're starting to have a few clients now that we're training but I feel very lucky to be here to ride for the Harrisons when you think like McLean Ward, Rodrigo Pessoa, Derek Herons, Quentin Judge and, and me like it's a little it's a little intimidating but um, they've given me every opportunity um, to succeed and I'm very grateful for that because I couldn't do it on my own. My horse now that I ride for Double H, um, HH Siska Van Overeth is amazing. She for sure knows a lot more than I know. Um, and I just wanna keep kind of going like we're going. I jumped a few five-star Grand Prix this summer with her and she was great. We were ribboned in both uh, five-star Grand Prix in Spruce Meadows. So I'd kind of, I don't know, I, my long-term long -term goals are a championship team and everything like that, but that's hard and a lot of people dream for that and don't make it, but I'm happy competing at the level that I am now. I'd like to keep working every day and just consistency and do the best I can do. I have a really good working relationship with Quentin. Um, we're riding with each other every single day, so if it's an immediate kind of question about what I should be doing with my horses or something, it's great to have someone that I respect that much to kind of um, bounce ideas off the wall with and everything like that. Um, and then of course I have my mom where if I'm upset about something or if I have not the best round, she's always so supportive and um, encouraging and lets me know that she thinks I can do it, um, which is really nice to hear sometimes when you're kind of questioning yourself and a little bit down on yourself. Um, and then we're also lucky, um, Quentin and I, that we don't have McLean here every day, but he's a phone call away, which to have someone that's accomplished your dreams um, to kind of ask questions and um, talk about things with is something that makes a big decision a lot easier. I think the worst thing someone can say is that you're lazy. So I try not to give anyone any chance to say that, oh, she doesn't work that hard or, oh, this one time we had a bad experience or she did something that I, like, I really try to, um, keep good relationships with everyone I've worked with in the past and um, relationships with people I might have in the future and 
make it so that everyone you work with wants you to succeed and don't give anyone the, uh, the opportunity to have a bad opinion of you. You have to try to stay positive and like this sport you can do it for so long so the harder you work and the more you put into it I think eventually you'll get that back from it. She will be over the moon with that 82-34 super round. It's clear, clear from Maggie McAlary. It is our first clear in the RBC Grand Prix presented by Rolex.